Hello, buddy. I'm Hugo. In this video, I'd like to introduce the final commercial version of 5750NG. The retail edition of Ryzen 7 Pro 5750NG. This is exactly what we are waiting for. Keep running. As I always highly recommend preparing a discrete graphics card in advance. Even this ancient one could help you with a hand to upgrade the BIOS. Just to my own experience as an example, the Gigabyte X570 also lead with F33A, the former version BIOS. It can drive the core graphics with any video output. Fortunately, the latest version of BIOS has been updated on the support page. Remember this date, the 1st of June. Right on the same day, Dr. Lisa Su announced that the Ryzen 7 5700G is coming to market for consumers starting August 5th this year. Still, upon checking all of the specifications, I have no idea why the 5750G still exists or when it will be released. Successfully upgraded BIOS here we are entering the system. A great news is AMD has already updated the official driver on their support page. At least with the official driver, we don't have to use the previous amended metric one. If you have already watched my previous introductory video of 5700G engineering sample, that driver is re-encoded from Chinese Greek. They are truly brilliant, so to speak. Alright, on the successful page now, welcome to use Radium software. Checking back to the text manager, CPU is correctly identified as 5750NG, that's without a shadow of doubt. The RAM in all four slots sent up with 64GB, not equal to XMP yet, we'll do right back. SSD, once again 980 Pro. The 5000 series APU doesn't support the PCIe Gen 4 as mentioned. The core GPU, Radeon Graphics, fully activates now. Correspondingly, it shares half of the RAM, 32GB from the mainboard. As a routine work, let's check the CPU-Z for more detailed info. Even this version is not up to date, it seems correctly demonstrates all the following specifications. The Ryzen 7 Pro 5750NG. Let's pay particular attention to stepping. Zero. Sounds like it is just granny and official name compares with our previous review of this engineering sample. Caches. Mainboard. Updated to the latest version BIOS. Ran info. 3200 speed. This time the SMP is enabled. Graphics. Revision updates from C8 to now D8. Benchmark testing, that's the highlight section. Well, I won't be surprised that a single thread score is over 600, which is a typical capability of Zizen structure. To prevent individual error, all the scores are tested for over 5 times an average. As the process improves, the single thread score progress is significant, over 17% leading compared with previous gen, the 4750NG. In multi thread comparison, it still takes a 12% advantage. Keep forward to the freeze benchmark, the result will also repeat it for 5 times. From score to score, each benchmark has their own characteristic to evaluate the CPU. Just take this one, it demonstrates the 5750NG has 18% improvement. In Cinebench R15, the CPU test is rendering this picture. The CPU score seems to slightly take a lead compared with the previous engineering sample. Utilizing the auto run kit, we could leave it alone and just let it run for 10 times. Once again, compared with the former generation, it has 15% advantages. Similarly, 
In the new version, Cinebench R20, the difference shrinks to 13%. Before testing the GPU performance and the video game, here have a glance on the GPU-Z info. The GPU revision is D8 mentioned on CPU-Z, also the Zizen repeated. Shaders, the bus interface, it is actually the PCIe Gen 4 for GPU, yet doesn't support the NVMe Gen 4 SSD. Driver day, oh, it is actually earlier two weeks before official announcement. Memory size, the DRAM part is not included. GPU clock, alright, nothing special. Sensors, all units could be correctly identified. Now we are heading to the 3D Mark testing. It is actually the first time I run this on the APU. Not intentionally, but just the previous engineering sample can correctly launch the software. But I haven't tried it back on the uh, official graphic driver yet. Whatever else could be seen from the screen, the video is pretty laggy. Alright, after a long term patient waiting, here's the result. The graphics score, the CPU score, and the time spy score. The estimate performance of Battlefield 5 it states the GPU could run for over 35 FPS. And let's check it right back. Here we go. Okay, the involved footage predicts the new Battlefield is coming soon. As usual, the video quality of Battlefield 5 is set as three levels, low, mid, and high. Actually, in our multiplayer testing, the FPS is not outstanding like over 35 FPS in high quality, but slightly close to it in Provence. Personally, in low quality, over 45 FPS is pretty good for me. In Battlefield 4, similar testing is also being applied. For the game which was published for over 7 years ago, it won't be surprised that this cutting-edge integrated graphics could easily exceed 85 FPS. Back on this texture and details, thanks for Force by 3, its rendering in fresh is also impressive in 2021. To some of the results, here I attached the comparison chart for your reference. For up-to-date gaming, in 1080p resolution, low quality, I believe the 5750NG core graphics could well handle most games. At least in Battlefield 5, such intense FPS game, it already proves itself. For the just 65 watt thermal design power CPU, its thermal control is certainly amazing. In particular stress testing on the CPU and GPU, the highest temperature doesn't exceed 65 Celsius. Remember, the start alarm is 27 Celsius as it is our room temperature, pretty high in summer in Hong Kong. Up to now, will that be off the episode? Absolutely not. Based on our previous testing, here I attached a comparison chart for the recent two generations of engineering sample and the retail product. In the 4000 series, the improvement from the ES version to the final version is significant. However, such progress is not obvious in this 5000 series. From my previous personal suggestion, the 5750NG may have over 5 to 10% leading compared with the ES version. Yet look at the benchmark results. I highly doubt the difference could be considered as testing errors.